Hi kids, welcome to Reena's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about simple equations. Before going to equation, we know about variables. For example, 4x plus 5 equal to 65. Here x equal to variable. The variable means something that can vary, that is change. A variable takes on different numerical values. Its value is not fixed. Variables are denoted by the letters of alphabets such as X, Y, Z, L, M, N, etc. From the variables, we can form the expressions. The expressions are formed by performing the operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on the variables. From X, we can form the expression 4X plus 5. For this, we multiply X by 4 and add 5 to the product. The value of expression thus formed depends on the chosen value of the variable. That is, when x equal to 1, 4x plus 5 equal to 9. When x plus x equal to 5, 4x plus 5 equal to 25. When x equal to 15, 4x plus 5 equal to 65. Now we will see about equation. An equation is a condition on variable. In an equation, there is always an equality. The equality sign shows that the value of the expression to the left of the sign is equal to the value of the expression to the right of the sign. For example, 4x plus 5 equal to 65. In short, we know an equation is a condition on the variable. The condition is that two expressions should have equal value. In this, in this example, the condition is satisfied when x equal to 15. One important property of equation is 4x plus 5 equal to 65 is the same as 65 equal to 4x plus 5. That is, an equation remains the same when the expression on the left and the on the right are interchanged. This property is often useful in solving equations. Next, we will see about how to solve the equations. Consider the equality 8 minus 3 equal to 4 plus 1. Here, the value of both sides are equal. Let us now add 2 to both sides. We get 8 minus 3 plus 2 equal to 4 plus 1 plus 2 equal to 7. Both sides are equal. That is, if we add the same number to both sides of an equality, it still holds. Let us now subtract 2 from both sides as a result. 8 minus 3 minus 2 equal to 4 plus 1 minus 2 equal to 3. That is, if we subtract the same number from both sides, it still holds. Similarly, if we, if we multiply or divide both sides of the equality by the same non-zero number, it still holds. For example, 2 into 8 minus 3 equal to 2 into 5 equal to 10. 2 into 4 plus 1 equal to 2 into 5 equal to 10. For division, 8 minus 3 divided by 2 equal to 5 divided by 2. Both sides are equal. Now see about solving the equations. For example, x plus 3 equal to 8. Then the value of x equal to 5. That is just subtract 3 in both sides. Next example x minus 3 equal to 10. The value of x equal to 13. Here just add 3 in both sides. Then another one example 5y equal to 35. Then the value of y equal to 7. Here just divide 5 in both sides. m divided by 2 equal to 5. Then the value of m equal to 10. Here just multiply the 2 in both sides. Next, to solve the equations, 12p minus 5 equal to 25. First, adding 5 on both sides, then we get 12p equal to 30. Next, dividing 12 on both sides, then we get the value of p equal to 5 by 2. From this, we can transposing a number is the same as adding or subtracting the number from both sides. Doing this, sign of the number has to be changed. For example, 3p minus 10 equal to 5. Transpose minus 10 from LHS to RHS, minus 10 becomes plus 10. That is 3P equal to 5 plus 10. Then the value of P equal to 5. Next from solution to equation. For example, the value of X equal to 5, then 4X equal to 20. Here multiply both sides by 4. 4X minus 3 equal to 17. Subtract 3 from both sides.